Have you ever wondered what my favorite Houdini tutorials are? Well, besides mine, well, stick around and I'll tell you. Hi, my name is Kays and welcome to another Raybrain tutorial. Now, strictly speaking, this is not really a tutorial, at least not in the traditional sense of the word. However, believe it or not, one of the questions that I see popping up on the Houdini forums all the time is, what are some of the best places to learn Houdini? And I thought I would share with you guys my five most favorite places. Now, some of these you might have heard of already, and hopefully there's at least a couple pleasant surprises in this list. So let's get on with it, starting with number five. At number five, we have Antagma. This is perhaps one of the most well-known Houdini tutorial sites. Both Manuel and Moritz are two of the smartest guys around and the wealth of knowledge and insights that they share in the tutorials are vast. While most of their tutorials revolve around motion graphics and abstract type of effects, I've seen many of these techniques find their way into more traditional cinematic shots. The tutorials also frequently cover third-party renderers like Redshift, Arnold, and V-Ray. In addition, Manuel has been dabbling in Blender lately, and I wouldn't be surprised if more Blender-focused tutorials start appearing very soon. So why isn't Tag My number 5 and not higher on the list? Well, mostly because their tutorials often get very technical and code-driven, in a not particularly right brain sort of way. Now, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of material here that doesn't involve Vex or Houdini script, but newbies might get a little intimidated at first by some of the advanced techniques shown. At number four, I give you bubble pins, but don't let the cute name fool you. Bubble pins dishes out some extremely advanced and useful Houdini tutorials, covering everything from fluid simulations, destruction effects, crowd simulations, volumes, and more. The wealth of information is presented in a comprehensive way, and the various processes are explained thoroughly with informative graphs which help to clarify the advanced concepts. Bubble Pins herself sounds genuinely fascinated as she navigates through the various nodes, lending a fun and almost storytelling tone to this collection of very useful tutorials. Coming in at number three is Arise Works. While many of you might not have heard of this channel, it is truly an unmatched resource for everything Mantra and Vops. You will find a comprehensive list of tutorials which cover everything you've ever wanted to know about Houdini's excellent built-in render engine as well as the often misunderstood VOPS network, which can yield very complex results without the need to write any code. In addition, Ariseworks offers some podcast-style conversations covering interesting topics and personal opinions from creative artists, including yours truly. Future series of Ariseworks tutorials will focus on going from Houdini to Unreal Engine and working with real-time rendering, so keep checking back for those. At number two, we find Applied Houdini, created by Stephen Nipping. While Stephen might not be a household name, the films that he's worked on certainly are. Stephen is an absolute ninja when it comes to cinematic destruction effects. While his tutorials are paid and definitely worth every penny, Rigid's One, Volumes One, and Particles One are completely free and provide hours of invaluable learning materials. What makes these tutorials so good is that Steven really explains the basic concepts and ideas behind some very advanced Houdini features with insightful graphics and illustrations. Steven's delivery is both educational and entertaining, and his easygoing tone and humor makes his lessons fun. Steven is also a frequent presenter for Side Effects, and you can find his past lectures at the official Side Effects Houdini channel. I would encourage anyone interested in creating cinematic effects to give Applied Houdini a chance. These tutorials are top-notch and will bring your projects to the next level. And finally, at number one, we have Side Effects' own tutorial section. As far as I know, Side Effects is the only company that has such a thorough collection of tutorials available right on their website. The tutorials page is well organized with useful search filters which will quickly narrow down exactly what you're looking for. The majority of the tutorials are free and the collections are curated by side effects staff so you'll find only the best of the best here. I am often amazed at how many Houdini users are not aware that the tutorials page even exists. So I want to make sure that as many of you as possible know about this invaluable resource. But wait, there is more! <laughs> yes, I wanted to share some honorable mentions that you should also check out. These include Mix Training, created by Varomix. Alvaro's videos cover a number of useful topics, 
including modeling in Houdini, which typically doesn't get as much attention. I consider 531 a bit of a companion channel to this one, since it covers a number of specific but practical and useful Houdini tips and tricks. If you're interested in Solaris, look no further than CG Forge's excellent series of tutorials that will have you sorting through Houdini's new look development environment in no time. And finally, Axis FX has a variety of useful tutorials covering everything from the basics to some very advanced production techniques. Now, if you're worried that you're not going to remember all of the channels that I mentioned in this video, simply go to the Channels tab on the Right Brain Tutorials page where you'll see links to all of the channels mentioned in this video. Well, I hope you like my five most favorite places to learn Houdini. If you want to see more of these lists, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make more. Until then, if you liked the video, please click like, hit subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time.